Happy first day of our second week during National Embroidery Month. We have spent all last week filling in the bottom part of our pattern with some nice beginner easy stitches. And now it's time to move up, level up, level up, level up, level up. A more complicated week of stitching. Now don't be scared. I'm here with you the whole time and I'll walk you through all of it. Um, but don't forget as well that you can go on over to DMC's website and get yourself some supplies if you haven't started yet. It's never too late. Um, just make sure you use the code GULAXDMC at checkout to get 15% off your purchase. In our live today, we did the top part of our um, hat here. And I actually like this, how this turned out better than it actually did the first time. And I gave it a little outline to really define the edges of the hat, which I didn't do here. Um, so I really like how this version is turning out. So what we used two different types of floss. Here's another color of the Etoile, the C738. And then we have a new thing called the matte cotton. It's a really a fluffy, nice little feel in the hands. I love this thread. It's becoming one of my favorites. 2783. But you guys can use, like I said, um, any type of thread that will work for you. The first thing you're going to want to do for a basket weave is you're going to want to be using your matte cotton first or your thickest thread first. We're going to be laying down a straight stitch grid on your pattern with the matte cotton. Then you'll be taking your etoile and you're going to be weaving through that grid all the way around the brim of the hat. So following this guide, I'm going to lay down and we'll be doing that with straight stitches, okay? So there's one straight stitch. Here's another straight stitch. So now you have your matte cotton little grid laid out. Now it's time to take our twill, making sure we're using the size three embroidery needle. We want the longer needle with a very, very tiny eye. So that way it's easier to weave underneath all the different um, spokes. This is another one where you don't really want to knot before you uh, stitch because you might accidentally pull some of this thread out when you're weaving and being able to just reach around and tighten that is definitely makes it easier and less frustrating instead of pulling your knots accidentally through. But when you're weaving, it's a lot easier if you weave with the eye of your needle and not the pointed part of your needle. You don't want to be taking your needle and getting it caught in the fibers here as you're weaving. It might pull them out or fray them and make them not lay as right. But you do got to be careful that you might stab yourself a few times doing it that way, which I did. You're going to start at one side of your hat and you're going to be weaving over, under, over, under, alternating all the way across. It's really important that you don't take your thread and push it all the way up the spoke. That'll definitely make this look a lot more full than this one. So make sure that you don't put them too close together or make them too tight. Using the eye of my needle, I'm going to go over the first spoke, then under the second spoke, over, under, over, under. Make sure not to pull this too tight, folks. You want it to lay and you want to be able to see the matte cotton underneath it kind of like you see it here if it's too close together look too crowded over under over under under over then when you get to the end over here you take your thread and you poke it under there then you come up right next to where you went down and so since I went under this spoke, I'm going to go over this one and go under this one. So I'm alternating each time I go around. And that is how you basket weave. Over, under, over, under, under, over. I love working with this at 12 because it really gives a nice little shimmer to your hat as you're working on it. When you start to get towards the end, just be aware that you can always take your needle, if you've made these loose enough, and you can pull, kind of pull them down a little bit kind of separate it, make it look more open. And there you have it, folks. Little basket weave hat. As you can tell, mine's a little different than my original one. I did a lot less spokes than originally because I have a lot more spokes here that I was weaving through versus here. I had more open spokes. Um, I kind of wanted to have more of a fluffier hat. Uh, but yeah, yours can definitely, if you don't like having it so fluffy here on the brim, to have a more consistent basket weave like I've kind of done here, you would do a lot more spokes. Let's double the spokes this one had. Two different ways you could do that basket weave. If you follow the, the pattern, you're going to have a lot less spokes. If you want, you can fill in more spokes and you'll get this look here. So that's it.
that's the basket weave guys don't forget to go head over to dmc to get your supplies if you haven't gotten it already just make sure you use my code gula xdmc to get 15 percent off try to have your hat completely filled in and be working on the star stitch to go on top of the seam right here for tomorrow